Hi, I must have recorded this 15 times this week, ish. Everything just seems to be getting in the way of it. Basically, what's happened is, my, if you didn't know, my laptop died. Hard drive, just complete failure. Um, lost everything. All my YouTube videos, all my Vegas templates, all my animations that I'm, I'm having to redo today. So, I'm going to try my damnedest to get it done. Today is Sunday. Hopefully you'll get a video tomorrow. Monday. Which, if you're watching this on Monday, is today. If you're not, it was probably yesterday or the day before. It's up to you, whenever you like to watch it. Chunnering on like a dweeb. Um, current state of affairs is Borrowed laptop. Not quite as powerful as mine, but does the trick. Hopefully. <laughs> it records, it edits, I'm happy. It just takes a bit longer. So, I'm going to do this, put it on that, then I'm going to record the Let's Play, and I'm going to edit that. And then I'm going to upload that, and we all know what YouTube's upload speeds are. Backwards. So, it could be later today, it could be tomorrow morning. I don't know. Anybody that knows me knows that I don't like various parts of gaming. And the part I'm going to talk about is really don't like microtransactions. Now, the reason I'm bringing it up is Drive Club, if you've heard of it, is coming out for the PlayStation 4, and it's their answer to sort of Forza, that sort of stuff. Looks very good, to be honest. It's going to into PlayStation 4. No, I'm not using a tripod. Proper old school. Um, the problem I've got with it is, if I can pronounce it right, Paul Ruchinski is the game director. And he was interviewed a couple of days ago, and some of the quotes in it made me rather confused. I don't really get where he's coming from. He basically said that microtransactions are practically hidden, and they don't want people to use them. Gloss over the fact that they're hidden, I'll get to that. They don't want people to use them. Why are they in the game now? If you don't want to use it, don't don't try and charge 45 quid, 60 dollars ish, for a game, and then charge them to like unlock parts because the bone idle. And don't want to play the full game properly. In my eyes, you get a game and you start racing games. Ah. Uh, Good most of the time with it. You start your game, new game, and you start from the bottom and work your way up. Some games like the Need for Speed games will start you at the top and then give you engine failure or you get jumped or you get arrested, blah blah blah, but you end up at the bottom and you have to work your way up. Now, the point of the game is to work your way up to the top, not drop down to the bottom Buy your way to the top. That's cheating. Back in back in the day, <laughs> um, cheating for me was sort of you bang up, down, left, right, all that sort of stuff, and you get given a tank or all the weapons, GTA, or no wanted level, or you unlock all the cars or all the tracks. That's cheating. Now, if you want to unlock all the cars, you pay for them. Now, why, why, why do you, why would you, okay, I can understand if you want to just play a game for the fun of it, completely understand that, I've had quite a few games where I've just bought them once, played through and loved them, and then traded them in for something else, and then wanted them again, but realised that I didn't really want to work through it all again, because I just wanted to play it, so yeah, 
that's fine, because you've already worked through it once. Or if you're just not really one of them kinds of gamers, you just want to just win at everything. That's fine, that's up to you. But don't charge people for that. Part of gaming is a release of reality. The big attraction to gaming, for me at least, is if it gives me the opportunity to do something or be something that I'm not going to be, like Just Cause 2. When am I going to get a chance to grapple off a jumbo jet with a rocket launcher and blow it up in midair? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Stuff like that. I mean, looking through that up there, what we got? Resident Evil 5? Nope. Formula 1 2011? Nope. Duke Nukem Forever? Nope. Duke Nukem 3D had one of the, if I can remember it right, it was like, I think it was DN Stuff or something like that for the PC version. And it gave you all the weapons, all the cards, all the inventory, maximum health, maximum armor. It was god mode, basically. But you didn't have to pay for it. <sighs> so why, do, why charge people? The first microtransaction I remember having, actually doing, was Need for Speed Pro Street. Played through a good four or five hours of games and races and stuff like that, just going through it, through it, through it. And then popped up on PlayStation? No, X oh, Xbox. Mm, when I had that. On there. Veyron. Bugatti Veyron. I think it was something like 250 points, which was quid. Quid now. Something like that. I can't remember. And I did that, and it ruined the game completely because it was... Right, you're in this race now. Okay, I'll just have that car. Boom! One. It was fun for a while because it was that I could win anything. But the challenge went straight away. Like I said, I can understand cheating for fun, but paying? Nah. It just ruins it for me. Now, hiding it, that, how do you hide it? You can't hide it. The only way I can think that they've hidden it is you go to the vehicle selection screen and there's like X to buy with sort of in-game money or square to connect to the PlayStation store. That's the only way this it's relatively hidden. Um... Surely just not doing it? What happened to games when you could? GTA 5, you, you can. I don't even think there's any microtransactions in that. I mean, there's probably expansion packs and stuff. But, I don't know, I just, GTA seems to be the last game that's there for fun. <laughs> that's why I'm moving to PC for my gaming. I bought this game, I've played it before, but I've lost the save game. I'll just download a new save game, or I'll just download the expansion packs, or mods, stuff like that. That's the one thing consoles are missing, mods. Fucking modding so much fun. Again, Just Cause 2, I've got it on, had it on my laptop till it died, and I had a flying mod, I had made the, a mod that made the rocket launcher into a nuke practically, it was amazing. I've got a video on my channel about the mods I used on it which I'll link in the description. So, in my mind, all these microtransactions and stuff, they're just going to push people away from console gaming and move them to PC gaming. I don't mind. I, I don't really mind what a game on, to be fair, as long as it's cheap and fun. Relatively cheap and fun. I've still got the PS3 because Blu-rays. I haven't got a Blu-ray drive yet. Building a gaming computer. Cheap, not. I'm just waiting for bits. Now, I'm gonna stop rambling on because I could rant about this for days, and I'm sure you either are here to watch me rant and laugh at me, or you're here to watch the game. Now, the game is Super Meat Boy. You've probably heard it, you've probably played it, it's an old 2D jump around save the princess thing, I think. I've never played it. Now, I had a quick test yesterday, and it 
that's not going well at all. Um, I couldn't play and record, so I've got to get different recording software, so that's the next step. Um, I will be playing it on a controller. What's the, what's the message? There's a message at the beginning of the game and I can't remember it now. It's like, you, it, it's something like, you don't need to use a controller, but you don't need to bathe. Just saying. Or something like that. It's like, you're better to use a controller. Unfortunately, it uses an Xbox controller. I don't. I don't like Xbox controllers. They're functions for them. They're big and clunky and heavy and annoying, so I use that on the PC. Using a program called Motion Enjoy, which I'll link in the description again. Brilliant program. You can use your PS3 controller for pretty much anything, it just emulates it. Now, I'm going to go um, and get this done. Um, thanks for watching. I will. <laughs> Stop talking about about microtransactions when hell freezes over. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful things, and let me know what you think. Um, Toodaloo. Well, this has been a cursed game. Um, if you want to play it, you need it windowed. You need to force free sync on. Well, that's if you want to record it, I should say. Um, there was going to be video <coughs> face camish sort of thing. That didn't work. So. Finally getting around to playing this thing and recording it. I've had a quick go, I'm not saying I wouldn't play out. Um, just to test it. The other problem is the landing animation, as soon as you hit record, repeats constantly. Over and over again. Let's see how we do. I love the music. <laughs> just pop. <laughs> well, the other good thing about this, no microtransactions. Right. Don't need replace. See that? That's what he's talking about. He's still jumping and doing anything. Whoa! Oh yeah, I'm not really good at this. Ah. <laughs> I will play any replays that I really fucked you up at. Just for cover the body. Easy to stay plus seven. I don't know what they do. Oh! God, there we go. I don't know what they do, those little damn bandages. But, we'll get them anyway. I don't know much about this at all, if I'm honest. Oh, oh, oh. That, oh, oh, oh. oh. Going so loud. Stop laughing. Well, yeah, I'm allowed to laugh at my game. <clears throat> you will have to pardon the cough. There we go. Only took about six years. How am I going to do first sort of <laughs> the first chapter of this? Whoa! There we go. A plus. Deaths don't count for your grade. 
I love how it puts all the replays together. I think that's great. Well, that was smart, wasn't it? No, no, no. Thing. Oh, that was not any excuse. I think the glitch that was talking about is still there a little bit. Just all the death. Boatloads of death. Go! I want to meet the guy that came up with this, please. Mental. Oh, that went wrong. <laughs> Gow! Yeah! I'm getting the hang of it slowly. <sighs> Give you an idea of how cursed this recording has been. I'm having to use my phone as a microphone. Oh! So, I've no idea what the sound quality is like, it's a pretty good film. There we go. So, we'll see. It'll be on tonight. Depending on how long it takes to render. Oh! Ah! Fire! Death! All the death! Oh, oh, bandage, mist, death. <laughs> I just... The best thing about this is the complete and utter lack of loading screens. It just makes the game so much... Jesus. So much more fluid and so... Unfrustrating if that's even a word. You get people on the forums constantly going on about how much they rage at this game. And you could sort of understand. But no, no, that's all gone wrong. <laughs> um why? Why? It's so much fun. There we go. Got there in the end. And got an A plus. Just patience. Huh. I'm not gonna Hey what well, ah, ah I found my first warp thing I've only ever heard about. Have a go at that. So it's over there, over there. Oh, you can bug off. What's this? Warp zone. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, confused meat boy. Ah, hello. Hmm. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, look at you, Pac-Man. Command the video from Bit Trip Runner. Oh, oh my god, I'm that guy. Oh my god, this is very different. I kind of like it. Oh, no. Why is it so hard? It doesn't sort of drop like me, Boy does. But I did it. No, she disappeared. What? How the hell? Okay. <laughs> hmm, talk about yourself. This might take some working out. I like the little 8-bit version of the thing. Cool. I'm a sucker for all school stuff. Right. There we go. Woo! Oh, come on! Yeah, I've actually... <laughs> looked and had a go on. An old Amiga 
emulator. Amiga was the first sort of computer, I guess, I ever had. Back when I was six, I think. One of the games I'll always remember on that. Oh my god, stop talking, get on with it. Nope, that doesn't help. It was James Pond, if you've ever heard of it. There we go. Hey, managed it. And. Oh yeah, have fun. And. Oh god. Brilliant. Oh, you can run across the ceiling. Look at that! Right. I mean, we had a few on it, but that one, Walker, which was just hilarious. First mech game, I think. There we go. And up and down. There we go. Oh! You unlocked Commander Video. Sweet. Ooh! You know what? I'm alright. I'm gonna stick with this guy. Very fast and made of meat. All the good things. Um, and yeah, it was just so easy, simple, fun. And then we got a PC. And I got killed. Oh, man, when did we get that? Uh, well, I had a cool spot on it, which should give you a plot and idea. Uh, cool spot, I also have the game gear, so that's... 94? 95 ish? Long time ago. And I was sat here in 2014 playing a game that, aside from the sound quality, could probably run on the Game Gear. <laughs> I'm down now, but it wasn't that difficult. This is one of those games I'm assuming that gets very, very hard. Hard about now. <laughs> Complete death. Ah. Time. Right. So yeah, I've been gaming for a good 21 years. Ish. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh! Aha! Oh. Stop beating my missus up. Take your time. This is in peril. Go! The story behind this the, is completely optional. Really doesn't matter. <laughs> but, Super Meat Boy. Oh, we'll start with the bad guy because it's probably easiest. <gasps> no. Dr. Fetus is the dude with the black like, monocle. Black. Get up. Uh, it keeps nicking me, missus. Over there. This is Meat Boy. Dr. Fetus loves Mrs. Meat Boy. Hates me. It's very Mario. Um, this replay should look interesting. There we go. And we spend all the levels getting to the missus and then losing. We love it. Through that over there. Ooh! 
Whoa. Hmm. I'm about to lock that. There we go. And I'm probably not even making any sense when I'm talking because I'm concentrating on this. Whoa, that was close. Ah. This as easy as that ever again. I'm getting that bandage. Not this time, but I am getting that bandage. Not that. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Holy moly, this place. Right back to the rock. That goes. Cross it. Jump. Don't. Jump behind it. Go, 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 go. Jump. Ah! I'm going to take the time this time because I've got that flopping bandage. Managed it with the bandage. Oh dear. Hundreds of them. Death, death. All the death. Uh, I'm guessing that's. Yeah. It's a pity the bricks don't. Sort of dissolve, demolish, disappear with the other replays, or with any of the replays, it seems. But I suppose it's just another overlay, isn't it? 22 seconds is the thing. That guy, that was Dr. Fears. Pointing, you can't see, but I'm pointing. Where are we? Oh. Little slugger. I bloody love the music in it, it's great. That's Dr. Fetus, there. It's like a oh, Firefly. He looks happy. Is that? Yes. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my lord. Yay me. Yay me again. Oh man, this music. It just, it just is. It reminds me of uh, Dragon Force. Slash 80s just face melting riffs. It's amazing. Go. Stop. Right, okay. That's. This could take a while. Thing is, you're not allowed to take, take your time. Go! Jesus. There we go! Yeah! We will watch the replay for that, and then I'm going to call it a day, because I've done the first chapter. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you would have an ejector seat thing. Oh, look at all the little squirrels. Jesus, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> Oh, one lived. Oh, I want one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Oh my god, there's 20 bandages. I can't believe that. Just got completely annihilated. <laughs> ah. Right, yeah, that's Super Meat Boy. It's on Steam, it's on Xbox, it's on various things. It should be on phones, it should be on the PlayStation, it should be on everything. Brilliant, get it, play it. Just this. <laughs>